Hello students, I am Sadin Kumar Mondol from GSMP. Hope you all good. Uh, actually, today uh, we will going to discuss a, a little a small thing that is applet. So at first we will go through the what is applet and what is the necessity of this uh, of the applet and we will uh, <coughs> discuss a little bit a short program about applet. So here you can see that I have uh, make a small program uh, on my laptop that is the applet program. So before going to that, uh, we need to uh, know a little bit description, little bit uh, description about the applet. So what is applet? So as we all know, uh, when a browser executes some HTML file, it shows some HTML content and we all know that there is a two type of html that is uh, static page and another is dynamic page in a static page the all the prefixed all the prefix static content is shown by the browser but in dynamic web page uh, it is dependable it is dependent upon the user what type of what user can see what the as per user response the dynamic web page is changing so when we need some communication when we need to communicate with the user uh, through the browser then we need some communication communication tool that is when this applet is uh, applet comes so so that is the basic need or basic uh, things you need to know about applet and you, if you want to know more details about applet so you go through the internet or uh, any java book so and another you uh, another thing you uh, need to know that is a applet has a <coughs> life cycle means life cycle means it is a beginning stage middle stage and a ending stage so what is the applet life cycle applet life cycle is mainly th four part that is init here init method here all part is by method one is init method another is start method another is stop method and last is destroy method so when a applet starts when when applet start this is simple when the browser start when the browser start and some html file is opened and on the applet uh, and the applet contents on that html file so definitely they when the html file starts then the applet start so that when the applet start automatically the init process is executes after the init process the start process that is another method that is another method that is start so then start method is executes after so after stop method so when start and stop execute between between the start and stop method when you may you can imagine we have opened a browser we have opened a page and there is a applet is running means it is on the start process so anyhow we need to minimize that page so when we minimize that page the applet is applet is uh, go to the start process to stop process when we minimize that page page so after that when we reopen that page each it goes to stop process to and uh, uh, again start process so start to stops and stop to start it continuously swap is uh, switching between these two post two method and after this when we cancel or when we terminate the web page then ultimately the applet is terminated applet will stop and the destroy method is automatically invoked and uh, one thing that is uh, point is uh, you, you may point is uh, you may note the point that when the destroy method is called it automatically before it before the stop method will be invoked okay so in our uh, uh, here you can see uh, in my laptop there is a I have made one applet programming that is here you can see public class uh, imp I have import two things applet applet uh, applet class you can use also dot uh, dot star uh, dot star things so and after that uh, there is a import java awt dot graphics class i have in i have imported two th two things after that public class applet java extends applet 
so one thing here you can confuse that i have not used any public static void main here you can see there is a no main method so so there is a no main method so how this can be executed so because in applet we need dot class file so what is applet applet means java byte code plus html code java byte code plus html code is equal to applet so we need just byte code so so when we when we compile when we compile a java code there is no necessary condition there is no necessity of java main main method it just proper java class will be sufficient to compile the code but when we want to execute or run a java java class then we have to have a necessary of a main method because without main method any java class cannot be executed so here there is a no main method so our this code can be compiled but not executed by the jvm so we don't need to we don't want to executed by the jvm because we want the the only class file this class file will be embedded to a html file and that html file will be executed by the browser and the browser will be automatically executed the java class this java class <coughs> so here you can see we have taken a public class applet java extends applets here we need to extend the applet class because all the um, all these method which is pen method init method start method stop method and all the uh, and the destroy method all these methods of applet class is belongs to this class so after that we have use a public void pen method and we have uh, just uh, done a something g dot draw string hello world this is a uh, this is the known known things we all know in the pbs sessions so this is a simple applet normal java class nothing else so after that why to what we need to do after successfully after successfully completing this code we need to compile it we need to compile it on the we need to compile it okay so after complete successfully compilation we will get a dot class file that is name of applet java dot class in my case in my case it will be applet java dot class file here you can see here you can see applet java dot class file this is applet java dot java file that is our java file and this is applet java dot class file you will not get this file until you have successfully compiled this this java class whenever you will compile it the, it will produce a dot class file so i have got it because i have successfully compiled it okay so next so this is the java class and this is the so another another thing you have to create a html file simple html file here in my case i have taken a html file applet demo one dot html in the same folder in the same folder here is the class and here is the applet demo dot html so what i have done in in this html file simple html tag start html tag ending and here is the applet embedded code what is the applet embedded code there is applet tag applet tag i have used starting applet tag and after that there is a two things code height width so this code tag tells the under this code tag the value section is applet java dot class file so what is this this is our java file java dot class file which we have already compiled so applet java dot class code is equal to applet java dot class here applet java dot class this one not this one applet java dot class okay and also we have to define some applet size height and width because maybe we want to we, we, we want some section of a web browser of our skin uh, in, in which we can 
um, we can uh, show some picture, show some animation or some communicating things because I have defined height to 200 and width 200. Now all whole skin and I have taken some area where I can show my applet and ending tag and after that this is applet ending tag and save it and save it as a dot html applet demo one dot html plain dot html file okay so these are the two things one is java file and after getting the java file compile that code and you will after that you create a html file and on this html file embed or integrate the uh, dot class file which you have already compiled okay and run this applet dot demo one dot html in any browser so you can you will see the result the applet how it's look okay so still now uh, you just uh, practice these uh, two things and whatever you you will face uh, difficulties and the uh, just uh, connect me okay thank you